Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we're going to talk about Google newest AI marble known as Gemini. So Google have recently announced Gemini, which will supersede existing Google Bard AI. So let's talk about what exactly is Google Gemini and how it compare with ChatGPT and specifically the paid version of GPT, which is ChatGPT4. For those who are not aware of ChatGPT or Google Gemini, I would say these are latest variants or version of AI. These AI, both Gemini and ChatGPT can handle everything from crafting an engaging script or to generate complex code. These AI can really help you in understanding your maths problem or you can ask them to generate anything. Let's say you want to create a new story, you can ask ChatGPT or Gemini, they can do that. I would say one of the latest variants of artificial intelligence that is available for public use. If you want to know more about ChatGPT, then I'm gonna put some of videos that we have created how ChatGPT can help you in office productivity in the description of this video. Now coming back to Gemini. So Gemini, as we said, that is successor of Google Bard, which got recently launched. So we will see how we can use it. But before that, let's just talk about some of its capability. The Google Gemini actually have multi-model capability, I would say, as Gemini can not only understand and process text, images, but it can also understand audio and video as well. So these kind of capability even you will not find with GPT-4, which I would say is really awesome. So now let's talk about how one can access this Gemini AI. For that, the only prerequisite is you need to have a Google account. If you do not have then it is very easy to create Google account. So just sign in with your Google account and then type bar dot google.com as we said before it use google id to sign in so you simply can sign in using google id now we may get confused oh this is bard but let's say i'm gonna ask bard which model you are using let's wait for the answer as you can see here it is using gemini pro version which tells us behind the scene it is Gemini Pro while outside or in front end it is barred. Now let me ask one more question and this time I'm gonna use image instead of text. For that let's click here on this upload image button and let me actually update my YouTube channel logo. And now I'm gonna ask which YouTube channel logo it is okay and let's see how the image based question perform and there we go here we can see it was able to recognize my channel name which is a technoholic which is really nice but the description does not seem to match but it was able to identify or recognize my channel logo and if i click here on modify response we actually can customize how this google ai should respond let's say i want it to give me answer more casual i can click on it and then it will generate answer more casually this feature i would say is really awesome guys as chat gpt do not have and then we need to explain chat gpt that you know sometime make the things concise or sometime make it more detailed this feature is, I would say, really nice to have. However, if I compare with the core functionality, which is how accurate or good the data is, I would say still GPT-4 is powerful than this Gemini Pro model. But it will be very interesting to see how Gemini Ultra perform against GPT-4. As based on Google website, we can see it shows that Gemini Ultra is outperforming the latest GPT model which is GPT-4 in every scenario. 
be it a general capability, reasoning, maths and code. For that I am eagerly waiting as I am paying $20 per month for using GPT-4. And whenever it will come you will see another video related to Gemini Ultra in this channel. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss these kind of videos which will provide some insight and will make a real time impact in your day to day life. Now let's go back to our Bard or Gemini platform and let me quickly show you what are other features that Google AI offer. So it also comes with extension which actually help us by providing a very custom experience. In order to get that you need to provide your Google workspace access to Google AI such that it can provide you a very custom experience. And believe me guys in case of chat GPT you need to pay $20 per month so that you can use these extensions. And here you are getting it for free which is really cool I would say. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then you take care and bye bye.